Hello there. This is Mammoth Cave National Park. We are in Kentucky, United States right now. My family and I are going to see the longest cave in the world. We're not there yet, but when we get there, we will show you what we see. The inside. Kentucky area, especially as especially Cave City, has a lot of historic caverns and caves. For example, this is Diamond Caverns, which you can see all the information on the sign, but that's not where we're going. Today we are going to Mammoth Cave, which is the more popular cave visited in Kentucky. As you can see, the drive is very scenic and beautiful. We have five more miles until we get to Mammoth Cave. Especially during the fall time, Kentucky has some very scenic trees and routes. Right now, you can see that the leaves have not browned or done any fall things. <laughs> we are well into fall, but as you can see, there's still remnants of summer left over. The trees are still green. They have not exactly changed yet. Definitely in November, um, early December, we have reached the visitor center. Since the cave is very popular, there are many visitors. Um, the leaves are usually orange, red, brown, they vary in color, but the season is taking a while to change. There are a lot of people here, and a lot of people enjoy the beauties and divinities of Mammoth Cave National Park. Not only does this center offer a cave tour, but also an environmental education area for the younger crowd. To get to the cave, we need to walk. So the walk to the cave is very scenic and beautiful. Um, it's very cool. We're in the shade of the trees. There's also a historic guided tour. So you can take this tour by yourself into the cave or you can, or you can, um, have someone else, a professional ranger, talk about the tour while you go to the cave. We are right now are taking a self-guided tour. Well, there's a few things to keep in mind while we're in the cave today. This is the self-guided discovery tool. So while you're down in the cave, um, this is a section of cave where you guide yourself in and out of the same way. So while you're down there, a few things to keep in mind on the trip. First thing, make sure you stay on the trail at all times. As you go through the trail, don't wander off, nothing like that, and you should be good to go. Also, as you go through the trail, make sure you do not damage the cave in any way, shape, or form. So if you see something cool, don't touch it, leave it alone, and don't take anything out. But especially, should you litter, no. We want to keep the cave as pristine as possible. Now, if you see something cool on your trip today, you can take pictures. Just turn the flash off on your camera because we don't want to you know, blind anybody as they're going through the cave. And then as you eventually make your way back out, you will be going across these soapy mats. The reason for that is because our cave has a white nose yes. syndrome. It's a bat fungus that exists here in the park. And so we just don't want to spread that fungus to other caves and in turn affect other bats. And so it's a pretty rough fungus for our bats, but it won't hurt us as humans, but we do want to help out our, our critters here as best as we can. And so if that sounds okay and you're still brave enough to make your way into Mammoth Cave, then you can make your way on in and good luck and be safe. Thank you. Oh, and here's your ticket. Thank you. Of the cave. The cave is in a mountain, so the entrance isn't very visible at the center, but this is the cave, the longest cave in the world. So we will see how this goes. Do you want me to hold it? Because you're a ninja. twilight zone of the cave. The twilight zone is the transition of day to the inside of the cave. If there were no lights in the cave right now, the cave would be pitch dark and we would not be able to see anything. There are many animals that inhabit the caves, such as this shrimp and this fish. A lot of cave animals, since it is very dark, they are blind or they are colorless. So that was very cool to know.
this pile of rocks right here, if we were to break it, it would become, it would, you could see the entire other part of the world. This is the end of a passageway. That's how it would look. But if we were able to create a new entrance, it would not be very helpful to the cave because it would significantly change the way air flows throughout the cave and fundamentally, al fundamentally alters the cave's fragile interior ecosystem. This diagram shows a person standing here. If you were to break this, you could see the other side and that would be a way out of the cave. Anytime you see rocks pile up like that, that's the end of a passage and you can break off into the wall, the outside. We have now reached the end of the cave. There are lots of passages we can explore, but they're not open to the public right now. Many parts of the cave are a little dangerous for the public to be. A very important and interesting fact was they used to grow mushrooms in the cave. Since the cave is moist, it's the perfect condition for growing mushrooms. But unfortunately, an oil, an oil spill had ruined all the mushrooms. Now, if you look at the ground, all the white little studs, those are mushrooms and fossils of various animals. They're not all mushrooms. That could be a fossil or a mushroom, but there are many things preserved in the ground that we can see. Though this may just look like a cave wall to you, our very imaginative dad saw this face. I don't know if you can see it, but um, the two ridges look like eyes, and the small ridge at the bottom looks like a mouth. So that's some pretty cool ways that this cave originally looked like things to me. What is it? That was an entrance to another cave. I saw in this cave, there are many informations like this. So they go to other areas where also where there's not as many visitors to the circle as wow. much. Wow, okay. So you won't find any in this area. Come on. There we go. So you won't find them in this area of the cave, but you can find them in the cave itself. There's some towards where I've been walking. A lot of woodland Indians used to live in this cave before it was hollowed out and made as an attraction for people. People used a lot of objects to lead life from the caves. Over here, you can see these gourds, which these Indians used as bowls or food into the, while they were in the cave. Here is an almost perfect preservation of a gourd. So the cave has not just nature within the cave but also things that they find in fossils within the cave as well. They have many little exhibits. Here are some slippers that painting Indian Indians used to find from plant fibers. So yes, um, this this would help them not they, this would help them travel within the cave without being barefoot. You can see here the torches, the burnt ends of the torches made from cane reeds. Um, so that was just another thing they did. They have many exhibits like this and many signs throughout the cave saying the nature. So not just you walking into the cave, but also many important information details. So in educational as well as experimental experience. And here we have gypsum, which is a mineral, as well as mussel shells, which is very interesting because mussels live in the ocean, in the sea water areas, but they're also, they have also found some within the cave, which was very, very cool. When you first enter into the cave, one of the first things you notice are these monuments, which are great stories dedicated to fallen people of World War. The sad thing is, these people didn't even know there was going to be a World War II. So, it was kind of nice seeing this dedication and this very heartfelt monument to these fallen soldiers.
since there were ancient woodland Indians living in the cave, there are many little things that remind us that they were here. For example, this very cool contraption, which was a a cool contraption of some sort. So. so that concludes our trip to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. We saw many things, we learned many things. There's also many trails around here. So you can just you can come here not just to see the cave, but also to walk these trails. So yes, um, we, it was a very fun trip and we definitely recommend you come here. And if you want to see more videos like this where we go to these different places and tell you about them, please like, share, comment, subscribe to our Gali channel. Thank you.